Hole number three is a par five on Namhe Cliffs. Uh, the goal here is to set yourself up for a wedge or even a putt for an albatross. Uh, we're going to play on the right side. You're going to want to use whichever club that you have that has the most amount of top spin, whether that's your extra mile. In my case, it's uh, my Thor's Hammer 5. We're going to play off that right island. It's a plus 20% wind adjustment. Uh, so you don't want to use full overpower. You risk going too deep uh, off the island and ending up in the water. And that's something we do not want to do. So my first effort here, I used full top spin and a couple bars to the right. You see I end up in the rough over there. Uh, we don't want to end up that way. So uh, for the second time, I, I did the same thing again, uh, except for I, I used uh, one bar of left spin and a little bit of left curl as well to uh, mitigate that wind pushing it out there to the right. But still full top spin and plus 20%, so you don't want to use full overpower in order to ensure that you hit this island and set yourself up, get you right up close to the green for, for a wedge. I've seen this played with a big topper if you've got it upgraded enough and a power five ball if you have a berserker or a globe, then that's an option as well. And that could actually put you up onto the green. Uh, I come up just a little bit short here with the Thor's hammer level six, but it will have a wedge up there for an albatross. Uh, so not bad. And here we go, looking at our second shots here. This one, I kind of just eyeballed it out of the rough. It's kind of a, a, a tough shot to make, but you see the wind here is a crosswind uh, with some slight tailwind as well. So I kind of go back and forth to, uh, trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here uh, and end up deciding to put my first uh, bounce on the, on the green. It kind of mitigates some of the dangers of, of landing off of it. Sometimes you can catch a little fringe glitch or something like that. So I just kind of eyeball it and noticing that the green's slipping right to left, I don't adjust quite as much uh, considering it's a rough iron and I end up hitting it perfect and it ends up going in for an albatross. Uh, when, with, with my wedge, on the other hand, uh, I ended up at just about a mid adjustment and it didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped. I think I'm going to have to add, if, if I end up with that same drive, uh, try and add 10% to the wind because it does seem like it's just a little bit downhill. Um, can't really tell here, but you see me trying to figure out where exactly I want to go. The ball guideline on the rapier here doesn't quite... Uh, go the whole way towards the hole so I'll line it up and uh, just try and try and uh, figure it all out here so going straight at it and uh, noting that you know after my first play I did see that it it comes back a little bit left to uh, right to left so I, I only end up adjusting three rings here I think I should have added 10 percent for a mid adjust and, and added 0.9 there and played it a, a 0.10 and gone four rings so it doesn't end up being quite as good as I had hoped and ends up rolling just by the right side but still this is a gimme eagle hole and a really good chance for an albatross